From our Center for the Arts studio, this is your AU TV 20 news break. I'm Nate Pawali. Thanks for tuning in. Bob and Jan Archer will soon be the namesake of the Ashland University Library. The couple recently made the largest one-time donation in the school's history at over $10 million. They had just created the Archer Challenge Grant last year, which matched dollar-for-dollar -dollar donations up to $1 million for improvements and deferred maintenance issues across campus. The challenge was renewed this past year with a goal of double or $2 million. The university will honor the Archers by naming the campus library after them with a ribbon cutting ceremony planned in May. The annual senior art and design exhibition will open in the Coburn Gallery on Thursday, April 8th at 4.30 p.m. This year's exhibition, which often serves as the capstone project for graduating art majors, will include graphic design, illustration, digital art, and video. Social distancing will be practiced during the reception, allowing groups of 10 or fewer at a time. The senior awards will be announced at 5.30 and will also be featured on the gallery's Facebook page. Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson vetoed a bill on Monday that would have restricted health care procedures for transgender minors, with rights of those in the group becoming a new issue of Republican lawmakers nationwide. Hutchinson said the bill was an example of vast government overreach that would create legislative interference with parents and physicians as they deal with some of the most complex and sensitive matters involving young people. The bill would have banned tr gender transition treatments for people under 18. If Hutchinson had signed the bill, Arkansas would have been the first state in the U.S. to outlaw the practices. Taking a look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio, Tuesday calls for mostly sunny skies with a high of 78 and a low of 57. Wednesday, the warmth continues with a mix of clouds and sun as the high soars to 80 and a projected low of 57. Thursday may see some possible thunderstorms developing in the afternoon with a high of 75 and low of 54. Look for sun giving way to clouds on Friday with highs around 74 and the low falling to 52. And finally on Saturday, a 40% chance of rain is in the afternoon forecast with a high of 75 and low of 48. That is it for this AU TV 20 news break. Be sure to follow us across all social media at AU TV 20. I'm Nate Pawali. Thanks for watching.